Brooklyn Independent Television. Welcome to Brooklyn Elected Officials. I'm your host, New York City Council Member Dr. Marty Eugene. And today I'm joined by Ms. Philippe Morris, President of Etiquette Training International. Thank you for being here, Mrs. Morris. Thank you, Dr. Eugene, for having me. And thank you, audience. Those of you at home, I thank you so much for tuning in to this program today. But of course, before we start, I want to welcome you, give you a booking welcome. Thank you. And uh, I want to thank you also for being part of this uh, wonderful show, Brooklyn Elected Official. Thank I've you. known you for many years, and I know also what you have been doing. I know the wonderful job that you, are, you have been doing. But I want you, I would like to ask you to introduce yourself, to talk a little bit about yourself for uh, our viewer to know exactly who is uh, Philippe Morris. Okay, thank you, Dr. Eugene. I am Philippe Morris. I am an Etiquette Training International, the president of Etiquette Training International, and I am a protocol consultant, meaning I teach etiquette and protocol. <clears throat> protocol really covers the rules for everyday living in society, regardless of whether those rules um, are applied to business life or to our social life. Because we know that every society needs rules, but some of us, we are not quite sure of how to act and what to do in certain situations. And so I sort of help to lead the way in what is correct and what is incorrect if we find ourselves in certain um, you know, situations in life. So that's, that's, in a nutshell, that's basically what I do. But I will explain a little more as we go along. But you, you mentioned etiquette and protocol and rules and societies. And we have so many rules and regulations. People, when you say rules, uh, are there rules to prevent people to do stuff or to, 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 to try to punish people when they do something? Or rules that we all should know to uplift our life and to be a better person? What type of rules they are? Well, basically, the aim is for growth and upliftment. Mm -hmm. We find in society, if we break certain rules, there are consequences. Absolutely. And most times, those consequences are negative, and it takes us quite a while to get over you know, what may happen to or derail our progress if we break those rules. So that is the reason I teach high school students. Mm -hmm. For example, I teach at Fawn Bonn Hall Academy, which is a high school for girls in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. I also teach high school students in Brownsville. So I try to, you know, span a wide cross-section of society, teaching students what will await them when they leave high school. Because we find that at a certain age, in your teens, you're more interested in fitting in in being like everyone else. Mm -hmm. Everybody tries to wear the same types of clothing and act the same way, listen to the same types of music. Mm -hmm. But I tell them, when you leave high school, the rules will change on you Absolutely. in the sense that you now want to stand out mm -hmm. because thousands of students graduate at the same time. So you don't, when you're applying for a job, you don't want to look like everyone else. You don't want to sound like everyone else. You want to have something that will make that employer say, well, I think this one stands out. I will take her or him over everyone else. So this is what this program is about. Uh, it's geared toward in teaching high school students, giving them that extra edge as to how to command attention, but not negative attention, mm -hmm. but positive attention, mm -hmm. you know? Because even in the trains, we see at three o'clock when students leave school, mm -hmm. there's all this shouting and adults frown on it mm -hmm. because students, it's attention they're seeking, but they don't realize they're conveying negative attention. 
So I try to teach them how they can get the same attention they crave, mm -hmm. but they can gain positive attention mm -hmm. by how they stand, how they conduct themselves, how they speak. And usually they're quite receptive. Mm, very good, very good. You know, uh, you mentioned something very important. You teach young people in school. You know, finally what I observe, mm -hmm. we go to school, we learn mathematics, science, biochemistry, a lot of uh, knowledge. But yes. they don't teach us how to live in society. Yes. You, somebody can be very educated, a professional, yes. but yes. when you meet that person, when you see the behavior of that person in society, yes. you see that something is missing. Yes. And I think it is very important what you mentioned, you know, yes. for, for all of us, regardless of our socioeconomical situation, mm -hmm. especially for the young people who are going to be the leaders of tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. And I think this is very important. Yes. Because, yes. Uh, you know, as an elected official, young people come to my office to seek for jobs, yes. for internship. But I, I can very quickly... I can, you know, make my choice. And I say, yes. this one, I like him. Yes. Or I like her. Yes. And not because I like, but the way yes. the, the, the young person presenting they project themselves. Project themselves. Yes. yes. You know, you can say, I would like to have somebody like that in my office. Yes. But this one, mm -mm. No. Attitude. So I mean? yes. Attitude, presentation, you yes. know, dress code. Yes. But could you tell us uh, exactly what do you teach? You know, give us an example of what, you know, the, the, the curriculum, the training that you give into the young people. I will. And <clears throat> what I'd like to do, even before I get into the detail, mm -hmm. is to read a little quote okay. by someone called Alison Laurie, because it is exactly what you've been saying. Long before I am near enough to begin a conversation mm -hmm. with you on the street, in a meeting, or at a party, you announce your gender, age, or social class to me. And very possibly give me information or misinformation as to your occupation, your origin, your personality, your opinions, your taste, and your current mood. By the time we meet and converse, we have already spoken to each other in an older and more universal tongue. Now, what is that older and more universal tongue? It's called the first impression. Hmm. And that's what, when your, the interns come into your office, mm -hmm. from the time they enter that door, they have already spoken to you. Mm -hmm. Not verbally, mm -hmm. but in that older tongue, what is called the first impression. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is usually my first module. Mm -hmm. The course I teach in social protocol, it has 12 modules. Okay. The first module mm -hmm. is usually giving a first impression. How do we conduct ourselves? Mm -hmm. That when you have to meet someone within five minutes, 10 minutes, and they have to make an impression of you, mm -hmm. that that impression is one you want them to have. Mm -hmm. So you're giving them information instead of misinformation. Mm -hmm. Because how many times we meet someone and your impression is not the best. And after you get to know them a while, you say, you know, when I first met you, I wouldn't have thought you were this type of person. Mm -hmm. That means that they're giving you misinformation. Mm. The impression they're giving you is not the impression they want you to have, but for some reason, it's, it's misinformation, it's missing the mark. Mm -hmm. So etiquette and protocol, the very first program I teach is how to give the impression that you want mm -hmm. this person to have. And this is not limited to a, per, you know, to a personal one-on-one -on -one meeting. Mm -hmm. It's our business. Mm -hmm. Your uh, secretary or the person who's at your front desk is usually the most important person in a business because that person answers your telephone. That person is giving the first impression of your business. And so that person should be aware that when a caller calls, their tone comes over. And I always tell my students, 
Smile before you answer the phone. As the phone rings, smile. Why? The tone, that smile is conveyed through the phone. That's you. Mm -hmm. you know? So th this is what I teach. First impressions matter. I'm going to give you a personal example. Two weeks ago, I was in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And I went to the front desk to ask a question. This, <coughs> the person who answered me, of course, they have a beautiful way of bowing to yes. the guest. Mm -hmm. And as I asked, the first thing the young man did, eye contact. Mm -hmm. Very positive, very sweet smile. Mm -hmm. And I asked him a question, but as I was speaking, the phone rang at the front desk. In the West, normally, we would just say, excuse me, and pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. He never broke his eye contact. Mm. He said, when I had finished my sentence, May I please answer the phone? Mm -hmm. I said, certainly. Wow. And then he turned away wow. and picked up that phone. <laughs> when he came back to me, he said, excuse me, I'm sorry you had to wait. Mm -hmm. Big difference. I see. Big difference. Wow. Asking permission mm -hmm. to break a conversation because I was there first. He mm -hmm. did not see that person who was calling mm -hmm. as more important. Mm -hmm than what I had to say. Mm -hmm. So it's these little things that I try to teach because I always tell my students the difference between ordinary and extraordinary mm -hmm. is the word extra. Mm -hmm. It's the unexpected. Mm -hmm. I'll give you another example. For the summer, I usually buy fish at a certain fish store that's very close to my home. Mm -hmm. But I was a little, a few blocks away and I decided there was another fish store there. I decided to buy some fish. When I got home and I opened that fish, usually there is the fish in a plastic bag and that's placed in another bag. Mm -hmm. But this time, there was the fish. Now this is at this store I bought for the first time. There was the fish in a plastic bag filled with ice cubes. And then they were placed in the other bag. Mm -hmm. So that fish was kept cool. Mm -hmm in the summer heat. Mm -hmm. When I opened that bag and I saw those ice cubes, where do you think I would go back to buy fish? My regular fish store just lost a customer. Mm -hmm. you see, first wow. impressions, first impressions. You, it's the little extra. Yeah, you're right, you're so right. I think that impression could be a key to open or close, or close doors to opportunities. That's right. I remember when I was living in Europe also, yes. when I used, used to go to the grocery store, yes. the way that the people welcome you, good morning, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. Goodbye, sir. Even you are going to buy or not. Yes. But some of the time you are embarrassed to leave to without leave. <laughs> buying anything. <laughs> yes. You know, yes. they pay such a you know, high respect. Yes. Good morning, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. You felt you respected. Have, you felt, exactly. Yes. And another thing that I, I wanted to put in fast is because impression is very important mm -hmm. in all the activities yes. in our life, yes. in the society. Yes. Regardless, you walk in the street, you meet somebody. Mm -hmm. Because someone told me that uh, he was looking for a job. Yes. And, he, and his way to the interview to get the job, he met somebody in the elevator. Yes. But he was a little bit rude. He mm -hmm. didn't pay attention, attention because he wanted to get there. Mm -hmm. And then he let the door go on the person. Mm -hmm. And guess what? When he get to the place for the interview, and the person who was going to interview mm -hmm. him, that, that was, was the, the person, person that he met. That's right. And he lost the job. That's right. So that means mm -hmm. I want you to, 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 I'm very pleased that you, you know, uh, mentioned that and you talk about that for our young people to know. Yes. From the beginning from the day they are going to leave the house yes to the day to, to the time from the time they are going to leave the house mm -hmm. to the time they are going to get back mm -hmm. they have to give good impression the first impression count you have to be aware it's it, i think it's about awareness mm -hmm. most of us operate sort of without being aware of the impression we are giving we just operate in our own minds mm -hmm. but we don't know how we are being perceived mm -hmm. you know 
And I tell my students usually, especially the young people, because I also teach corporate mm. um, uh, employees, mm -hmm. but my passion is for the teens mm -hmm. who, as you say, they're the generation of tomorrow, mm -hmm. that we train them mm -hmm. properly. Mm -hmm. Because I travel a lot, mm -hmm. and in other societies, I see where we fall short, where we can make our lives so much better for each other. Mm -hmm. But for the corporate clients, I teach handshakes and introductions. Uh, excuse me, before yes. you go to the corporate, I, yes. I just want you to tell me one thing. Mm -hmm. Do you think that also the parent have a certain responsibility also oh, definitely. to teach their children, mm -hmm. to definitely. let the children know that there is a certain way to behave, That's to right. present themselves. Do you think that the parent can play a role on that also? Everything begins at home. Mm -hmm. We had a saying, charity begins at home, but it does not end there. Mm -hmm. And the scripture says, train up a child in the way it should grow. And when it's old, it will not depart. Mm -hmm. Even if you depart, you come back mm -hmm. to that same training you had as a child. Mm -hmm. So we know that the home is where it all begins. However, for those who did not have that opportunity, because some parents don't know themselves how to behave. I know one time I was at, uh, I was temping mm -hmm. at a manpower agency. And this young lady came in for a job as a temp and she had on a black sequin dress. Mm. And we said to her, you know, this is not appropriate for an interview. She okay. said, but my mother said this is what I should wear. Wow. You see, so if you don't know, this is where training comes in. Because mm -hmm. so many times, what I am doing, I wish that I had been taught it mm -hmm. as a child. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. But I acquired the information, you know? Mm -hmm. So there is a place for us if we have been given all that we need to learn, then it, is, it gives us an advantage. Mm -hmm. But if we don't, it's never too late. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not too late for the parents. It's not too late for the, their children. Absolutely. You know? yeah. But um, this course, it deals with handshakes and introductions. Mm -hmm. How do you greet someone? Mm -hmm. Body language, mm -hmm. for example. In handshakes and introductions, if you're interviewing someone, and this is where the corporate level students are concerned, if you're inter interviewing someone and that, that job or that position is for uh, a supervisory position mm -hmm. in which you have to hire someone or fire someone, mm -hmm. body language is very important because from the time that person comes in to meet you, the first thing they do is a handshake, mm -hmm. okay? Now, a handshake, we can either go straight across, which is mm -hmm. the normal regular handshake, meaning we are coming on an equal basis. Some people, however, their personality shows without them knowing this, and this is what I teach them. They will come to you to handshake. Mm -hmm. That's down. Mm -hmm. This type of person likes to win. This is more a dominant mm, personality wow. type of person. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump likes this type of handshake. Queen Elizabeth shakes hands like this. Okay. They come like that. Because when someone comes to you with a handshake that's like that, mm -hmm you are now forced mm -hmm. to come under that hand. Mm. You see? So I show them if someone comes, because even in, in places where you are, you may have to go and some, the person who has to shake your hand, they want to psych you out and let you feel mm. you're below them. And they come like that. Okay. So you have to somehow bring their hand back. Mm -hmm. Into like a type of response. That's to, right. Okay. You can, for example, All right. if I come to you like that, uh -huh. then instead of shaking my uh -huh. hand like that, you're uh -huh. going to straighten me out. Okay. And we are now on mm -hmm. a normal basis. That type of person immediately... Will, 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 will that give a message to that person also? Of course. If they, are, if they are doing it consciously, mm -hmm. then they know that you are not accepting this one-upmanship from them. Okay. If they're not doing it consciously, even so, that type of handshake is from a person who likes to dominate and to win. Mm -hmm. So subconsciously, you're still sending back the message, mm -hmm. I am not accepting that. Okay. 
That type of person, however, the advantage is if you're looking for a strong person mm -hmm. who has to hire people and fire people, mm -hmm. that person might be better for you to consider mm -hmm. instead of someone who comes to you with a handshake and they're coming to you like that. I see. That type of person mm -hmm. is a submissive personality type of person. I see. Immediately, see, they're this putting This is the body you, language, right? Body language. These are the types of things I teach mm -hmm. to people who are in corporate positions mm -hmm. because you have to read body language. You just have a few minutes mm -hmm. with which to, to evaluate to someone. An That's right. And to, for you to evaluate that person. Mm -hmm. So when someone comes into your, to your office, you stand to greet them and immediately they come like that. Mm -hmm. They are showing you subconsciously they're a submissive type. Mm -hmm. That type of person would be better if you're looking for a patient care representative type of person. Okay. Someone who is interacting with the public mm -hmm. and they're not aggressive, they're not very strong in, in turning off people, but mm -hmm. they're a people type of person. Mm -hmm. So each personality has the advantages and disadvantages. It all depends on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. But you see, if you know body language, mm -hmm. then within seconds you can make assessments. Mm -hmm. So this is the type of program as being different from the type of program I teach to teams. Mm -hmm. In the corporate world, mm -hmm. they need different skills. I see. You know, so it's... L l let me ask you mm -hmm. one thing. I remember when I was uh, in my uh, non-for-profit organization, mm -hmm. you know, uh, providing services to the young people, mm -hmm. you did provide it. Mm -hmm. uh, some type of training also, etiquette training to the young people. Yes. And I remember that you were talking about uh, uh, when we have to introduce somebody to somebody Someone else. else. Yes. And uh, who to introduce first, yes. let's say, for example, depending on the position, social the position, position of the, the person. Age. Would you yes. please uh, say something about that? Oh. Because this is very important. Yes. Because some of that we don't know what to we do. We don't know. Yes. Yeah. When, you meet, when you meet someone for the first time, mm -hmm. the first thing... The first impression is first the strength of your handshake. Okay. Because should it be a powerful one, soft one, or we, strong, we, we have to but balance? Strong, or? but you're you're not. Men especially need to be aware mm -hmm. of their strength. Okay. Because most times when men shake hands with women, they should allow the woman to determine the strength of their handshake. Mm. If you shake hands with a lady. And that woman's handshake, you feel your handshake, your grip is maybe an eight, mm -hmm. and hers is a five. Mm. You should relax okay. until it comes down to maybe a six, mm -hmm. or else that means you're hurting her hands. Wow. And that's not the impression, especially women who wear rings. Mm -hmm. women, and the same thing, anytime you're shaking hands, mm -hmm. you have to be aware. If you're shaking hands with an elderly person, mm -hmm. You cannot sh give the same strength okay. as with a young person. Mm -hmm. You have to be conscious of that. So you have to be aware of that person's grip. But now the person who is extending the hand, the handshake should always be firm. Mm. And you should go web to web. All right. Some people do finger shakes. Just a finger, yes. And that, that shows the other person, well, I don't really care to mm. greet you properly. But when you are shaking hands, you also have to be aware of the age and the status of that person. Mm -hmm. Because the person who is older mm -hmm. is the person whose name you call first. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if, you are sh if you're being introduced to someone who is 70, 80 years old, mm -hmm. then the person who's making the introduction mm -hmm. will call that person's name first giving them the respect. Mm -hmm. So we will say, Mr. Jones, let's say it's Mr. Jones, I would like you to meet Dr. Eugene or wh whatever is your name. Mm -hmm. Whoever is older, if you have a man and a woman to introduce, the woman's name is called first mm. because the woman mm -hmm. has the upper position, it's just the way we say ladies and, ladies gentlemen. and gentlemen, you call the woman's name first. Mm -hmm. If you go to certain restaurants mm -hmm. and the, the, the higher, the better the, the type of restaurant, they will come to your table and they will take the order of all the women first, madam, mm -hmm. madam, 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 and then they come to the gentleman. Mm -hmm. So it's the same in, in introducing. You introduce the lady first, however, in 
business introductions, mm -hmm. it does not matter. Okay. Rank is first. Mm -hmm. Whoever has the higher position, mm -hmm. that person's name mm -hmm. you call first. Mm -hmm. So whether if you have to introduce doctor somebody to nurse somebody, mm -hmm. whether the doctor is a man or a woman, mm -hmm. that person's name, it's mm -hmm. doctor so, 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 I would like you to meet mm -hmm. nurse so, so, so. Mm -hmm. What about clergy person? I remember you make a distinction also. Yes. Um, if the person is a, 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 a religious person. Except exactly. Exceptions to the rule. All rules have exceptions, mm -hmm. and these are the exceptions. If you have cl clergy, who does the clergy represent? Okay. Divinity. All right. So that places that person higher mm -hmm. than either the man or the woman because they are representing div divinity okay. in whatever sphere it is, whether it's an imam, whether it's a priest, mm -hmm. or just a, a, a you know evangelical pastor. Mm -hmm. The clergy represents divinity. So if we are going to the church, and let's say we are Catholics, it will be father or monsignor or whoever, mm -hmm. I would like you to meet my mom, mm -hmm. whatever is my mother's name, because that person is seen as representing both men mm -hmm. and women. The same applies mm -hmm. for the governor, mm -hmm. the mayor, the president. Mm -hmm. It would be President Obama. Mm -hmm. May I present Mrs. Morris, Mrs. Morris is our etiquette consultant. So the, the rule about men and women, there are certain exceptions to the rule. And when you come to President Obama was elected by both men and women. So his name is first. Wow, that's wonderful. Mrs. Morris, this is uh, so important, you know, and we're running out of time, but I would like uh, us to come back again to discuss about that it and, would be and for my you honor. to talk about uh, be my you know honor. etiquette thank you so much and on behalf of our viewers thank you very much and come back thank you thank you very much thank that's all the time uh, we have for today i'd like to thank my guest president of etiquette uh, training international mrs uh, philippe moish i'm city council member dr matthew eugene and if you would like to reach me you can contact my district office at 718 287-8762. Thank you for watching Book and Elected Official on the Bika TV Network. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.